For anybody who knows me, they'll know I love my four-wheel driving. Now today, I'm not sitting up front in my nice, comfortable four-wheel drive. In fact, I'm doing something completely different. I'm sitting in a Can-Am Commander, and I'm on a trip with 47 Industries. Now, we're heading along a track that runs along the border between South Australia and Victoria, and aptly named, it's the Border Track. But our journey would start in the township of Pinaroo, which is the hub of the Mallee and sits just across the Victorian border in South Australia. This is farming country, and with an increase in irrigation has become a thriving food belt producing mainly potatoes. But we've come for an adventure, and thanks to 47 Industries, I'll be joining this organised tour along the border track and into Narcat Conservation Park. And as you've already seen, we'll be doing the tour on quads and in side-by-sides, which is one of those unique experiences that only an organised tour can give you. There's about 30 vehicles joining the tour in a variety of different quads and other farm vehicles. They've all been well prepared and are looking superb in the main street, ready for a start. Up front and leading the trip is Mick, with his team of dedicated assistants, making sure that the journey is not only great fun, but also ensuring that our trip is safe. And with safety in mind, the whole trip is led by a regular four-wheel drive vehicle that warns other track users that a tour is on the way. Let's go over now and talk to Mick and hear how this trip came about. Uh, we've been planning for about, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 years to try to get permits to go into the national parks in South Australia on quad bikes. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, so it's taken us a long time to get the permits from Motorcycling Australia, permits from the national parks and permits from um, Transport SA to come into the area. And we've finally done it. Uh, we brought the ranger along with us to make sure that they're 100% happy with what we've got. They've obviously had to go to some effort with these vehicles because you can't really road register these cars, right? Yeah, that's right. We've got uh, un unregistered vehicle permits, which is pretty similar to what you'd use if you've got a, a drag car or something like that. You need to take it down to the dyno or if you've got a, a vintage car that you don't normally register. Um, so we've got a special permit for three days, uh, which we've got through uh, South Australian Police Department, uh, which is also through Transport SA as well. Um, and they're very happy with us to come along and do this tour. The tracks we've been on are mainly sandy. We've had a couple of areas just to get from A to B where we've had to go on, on some not brilliant roads, in four wheel drive they're fine, um, it's a little bit tougher on a quad, we don't have the wheel track that a four wheel drive's got so we, we tend to find that we sit um, with two of our wheels in one of the wheel tracks and the other wheels are up in the middle so it's, it's a little bit awkward to sort of swap from side to side so I don't get sore hips after a while, um, but most of the tracks that we've been in have been nice and sandy, nice and windy, uh, we've, we're limited to 40 kilometres an hour through the national parks as everybody is, um, but believe me when you get into some of the rough stuff that's more than enough. I've been surprised today at how comfortable these side-by-sides are. They're really, really comfortable. Um, they've got very plush suspension, both the quad bikes and the side-by-sides. Um, they're really set up for recreation and a bit of farming as well, so they really eat up this sort of property. Now you've got a variety of different makes and models here today. Talk us through what we've got. Uh, we do, we've got a, a few representations from some of the Japanese manufacturers, the Big Four so they call them, um, but really not a lot. A lot of people are steering away from those machines these days and more, moving towards some of the more um, the more prestige brands like your Polaris and your Can-Am. Um, so there's probably 85% 80, Polaris and Can-Am machines here. Now the border track is a 50 kilometre one way trip from north to south and with a 40 kilometre speed limit as Mick said, it only takes a few hours before you're well and truly ready for a hard-earned lunch break. Now what a sight this would have been if you'd been travelling on the Pinaroo to Bordertown Road on a lazy Friday afternoon when you came across us. 35 quads and side-by-sides doing 80 kilometres an hour down a public road. What an amazing sight. But it wouldn't be long before we're back into the Narcat Conservation Park and tackling more sand dunes and endless sandy roads. But it's not just about our off-road machines. The park is home to a large array of fauna and flora, and the wildflowers were starting to come out to brighten up the at times barren grass landscape. Some of the wildflowers are native to this area, including the desert cassia and the flaxleaf lagonia. But enough of the botanic education lessons, let's get back to our 4x4 adventure. After following the south boundary track, we will head back into the south section of the park and start to wind our way around Ghost Hill and the terrain and surfaces of the roads in this section of the park will change quite a bit 
from soft and sandy to typical hard packed dirt roads. There's a real range of quads on this trip, with many set up as typical farm vehicles, whilst others are used in competitions throughout Australia. One thing's for sure though, regardless of the setup, be it for farm work or competition, driving these quads and also the side by sides through the conservation park has been something very different and has been quite an experience. We've covered almost 250 kilometres on our first day and we've got another two days of our trip left to go and in part two of our coverage of this event we'll hear from some of the riders and drivers and what they think. Now it wouldn't be long before our first day of the 47 Industries Tour was coming to an end. As we hit civilization again, the township of Keith would be our first overnight stop and the thought of a hot shower in the hotel was a welcome relief. Stay tuned though for part two of our border track trip.